Hey cookies, welcome to today's guide. We are breaking down the ancient cookie, dark cacao cookie. Super excited about this because we finally got them and I can't wait to give you the topping guide for this lovely, lovely ancient. So appreciate you tuning in as always. Today we will break down dark cacao cookie. We'll go into the topping guide as we always do, give you some additional details. Go take this guy out for a spin with the team and then come back and wrap it all together for you here today. You can find that down below in the timestamps for you along with um, Discord server information, other great ways to stay connected and I appreciate your support as always. And if you happen to have questions throughout today, please let me know, I love to hear your feedback as always. So let's hop into it here with the ancient cookie, dark cacao cookie. So here's what we got going on. This guy is a charger, a frontliner and he is an absolute beast and tank has been a part of the pvp meta for quite some time still seeing there uh him in it now but definitely some changes if you follow me um, on those pieces as always now a couple of key pieces about this guy he's got tons of health tons of defense um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second but here's what we have in terms of his move set we got solemn judgment swings the great jam chakra blade with great force causing thunder and lightning to inflict damage upon foes in range it is pretty nasty this mighty attack reduces enemies attack defense and inflicts zap and injury injured foes will have reduced max hp and the injury debuff ignores immunity and dispelling effects not mentioning injury specifically while dark cacao cookie is using his skill he will briefly become resistant to interrupting effects. First hit 83%, um, second hit 472% damage, passive debuff resist plus 20%, negative 15% defense, negative 10% attack, injury 12.5% max HP reduction for 30 seconds, injury limit up to 25%, zap at 3% damage every 1.1 second for every nine second, nullifies HP shield. Very, very important there. This guy just does so much stuff, which is one of the major reasons why he's been a part of that PVP um, uh, piece for quite some time. So very, very hefty there nonetheless. But let's go ahead now and dive into these toppings. And those toppings that you wanna be on are certainly solid almond. We want survivability. We want that damage resist. That's gonna be huge for you. Here you can see I'm almost at 30%, which is awesome. Um, really, really helpful in terms of survivability for my dark cacao um, cookie in terms of those toppings. Now, when we drill into the bonus effects, a couple of other pieces that you're certainly gonna want. Again, more damage resist, HP in that defense in order to um, create that survivability. Cooldown's nice to speed that up. We see that second attack dealing way more damage. Um, obviously, any other resistance are nice. Um, and last but not least, um, when we kind of look at some of these tiers, crit, attack speed, um, amplify buff, those kinds of things can be kind of that second second round piece. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we're doing here. We got HP, attack speed, additional damage resist, super healthy there. Um, here we got defense and HP. Here we have HP, attack speed, debuff resist, not super great. Here, crit percent, debuff resist, HP. Um, here, defense, damage resist, and then crit resist. So all in, probably like a 6.5 out of 10, I would say, really, really good survivability, really nice additional damage resistance, which is what we see there with that almost 30% reduction, which is huge. Um, so that's where we wanna be, five solid almonds. That's gonna give us that set effect for that damage resistance at 5% making this guy much more beefy, much more of a tank. But let's go ahead and take him out with the cookie party here today um, and go have some fun. As always, I like to go over to our story mode um, and go into eight, Hall of Enlightenment and 829. So let's go pop in here. Um, we'll flip over our teams. Let's go ahead and grab our buddy here. There we go, like father, like kid like father, like son, and let's go for it. So I'll pull off all the autos so you can see exactly how this guy is gonna hit, exactly how the moveset works, we see that there, and we'll go a little bit slower for you there too, a little bit lower on the slow set, here we go. Boom, zap, and whack. Now, a little bit slower here still because we don't have um, a lot of that cooldown All right, we're ready to go though. Here we go. Boom, zap. Boom. He hits hard, my friends. All right, let's see how much damage we can hit on the last guy here. 
Maybe one more little move set here. Yep, so we'll wait on that. Let's see how our zap and whack goes. There we go. Ooh, almost got him. Very close. So it was super fun there to see Dark Cacao in action. Um, let's go ahead and pull back here and circle around on today's episode as we always do um, because we are focused on getting you the right information at the right time for your cookies here um, in order to be successful and have a great experience in Cookie Run Kingdom as always. All right. So back to it here, Dark Cacao Cookie. I broke them down. Again, Ancient Charge Frontliner, massive moveset, and gave you the five toppings to be on with those solid almonds, preventing additional damage against this guy, reducing that damage, and increasing that survivability. Took him out for a stroll with the team, saw the zap and the whack, and busting up the other uh, baddies there as always. So appreciate you tuning in. As always, cookies, questions, or comments, do let me know. I love to hear from you. Um, as always, appreciate that support. Um, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you again soon. Until next time, Mithras Cookie out.